Hello and welcome to another weekly Pokemon Go news roundup with me, Trainer Weeks. Last Sunday we had Chikorita Community Day, and it was good to me. Kind of. I mean, three hours of hunting, I managed to catch over 200 Chikorita, eight of which were shiny. So that was nice. However, none of them, somehow, none of them were over 85%. Which seemed a little weird to me, but hey... It's not like I'm going to be out fighting with loads and loads of Meganium anyway, so I don't need to worry too much. At least I've got some shinies for my friends who couldn't make it, right? After Community Day is where things got interesting. For a half hour window after every region's Community Day, most of the spawns got taken over with a weird little Pokemon. Look at this weird little thing. So we think this is a tease for possibly the new Pokemon that you get if you get Let's Go. And clearly Ditto knows it's coming. The rest of us haven't actually seen a real one yet. This theory was later confirmed to be true by the official Pokemon Twitter. It is a new Pokemon that will be featured in Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. And we got a lot more information in a video that was posted both on Twitter and on YouTube. I'll link the full video below. Wait! I have seen this Pokemon! It was in an ancient text I once read. So, you've heard of it? Yes, if I'm not mistaken, it could be the mythical Pokémon, Meltan! In a series of tweets on the Pokémon account, we learned that its name is Meltan and its category is a Hexnut Pokémon. It's a steel type, it is very small, 8 inches tall, and somehow it still weighs 17.6 pounds, or about 7 kilos. They also reveal that it has electric attacks. As the tweet goes, it uses this electricity in two ways, as a source of energy and as an attack that can be fired from its eye. If you caught loads of these in the half hour that they were available, you don't actually need to hang on to them. They are purely ditto and they will not turn back into Meltan. This was also confirmed by the Pokemon Twitter. Ditto hiding his Meltan are still available in the game. They're just really, really tiny, so you gotta look quite hard to find them. But because nobody has caught a Meltan, it will still be prioritized in your nearby. Most interesting, they did say, we have confirmed that Pokemon Go is key to meeting this curious new Pokemon in Pokemon Let's Go. So it seems like you will need to link Pokemon Go to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee in order to unlock it. Are you looking forward to Pokemon Let's Go Eevee or Pikachu? Let me know in the comments. I'll be getting Pikachu. We are reaching the end of September and that means that the Kanto event is finishing. So if you're still hunting those shinies, You'll have to get out there this weekend. I haven't managed to get any of the new Kanto shinies yet, so I'll be out there. But also, I need to walk more eggs, because this also means that there will no longer be the Generation 1 regionals in the gift eggs. So if you're still hoping for Tauros, Farfetch'd, Kangaskhan, or Mr. Mime, then you need to walk as many eggs as possible and open as many gifts as possible to get your new eggs before the end of the month. October will be a water month, and we have Suicune coming to the Field Research Breakthroughs. If you have enough Entei, then you can save your Field Research Breakthrough. Don't open the box before 1pm Pacific Time on the 1st of October, that's 9pm UK time. And you should get a Suicune instead of an Entei. We don't yet know what the research tasks will be from Pokestops, but Niantic have said that they'll feature water Pokémon. In raid news, since the announcement of Deoxys being in X-Raid passes, we've now had the first round of passes going out. I'll be doing an X-Raid on 2nd October, so we'll have more to report next week. From a recent thread on the Sulfuroid subreddit, it seems that a gym needs roughly 20 accounts to raid at it in order to trigger an X-Raid. So if you haven't got a pass yet, they do go out weekly. What you want to do is find the gyms in your area with the X-Raid tag in the top corner, 
Get as many people as you can to do raids, and it doesn't have to be tier 5 raids. I once got an x-raid pass from doing a Magikarp raid. So go out there, raid those gyms, and hopefully you'll get an x-raid pass in the next round, which should be going out next week. And finally, Beldum has been announced for the next community day, which is 21st October. We will also be getting a quarter egg hatch distance, so save up your 10k eggs. And there will be an exclusive move, presumably for Metagross, though that hasn't been announced yet. That's all for this week! Thank you for watching! Hit that like button, let me know which of the Let's Go games you're planning on getting, and I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye!